everybody, my name is Fiona Milton, and I'm going to talk about Game of Thrones, um, I want to talk about the last episode, um, um, I want to talk to, um, to each character individually, um, I'm going to talk about the people who died, and then I'm going to talk about, um, um, then I'm going to do a separate video on what do you think I, um, overall, um, what I thought about, um, um, that episode. Um, I didn't do the last two because I talked to, uh, um, the last two on live stream, um, last week. So, um, I'm here to talk about, um, de the death scene first, um, um, let's talk about Ed first. Um, Ed was, um, a likable character. Um, we didn't see him that much, um, um, throughout the season when he was in the Night Watch. But, um, he was a ride or die person, you know, uh, when it has to do with, um, Jon Snow, a.k.a. Aegon. Um, he was a very, he was a very data, um, hard, true friend. He was like, listen, whatever you do, I got your back. And that's how, um, I felt with Ed. I think Ed, um, should have not died like that. Um, I think maybe he should have died a little bit more defending a White Walker. And if so, if he gets axed during that time when, you know, if that happened, yes. But he was helping another, and I'm going to get into that one later. Um, also, um, want to talk about... Um, the next death, um, scene was, um, Liana Mormont, um, Little Bear, um, um, she's not a fighter, um, I think she's a great, um, um, what I like to call a good NCO, like, she was, you know, she's not a good... Um, not good at the battlefield, but if you need a support or yelling or to make sure everything that goes right to make everything organized where it needs to be, she's very good with that. Um, um, I think, um, um, because there is no more house, um, um, Bear Mountain, Bear Island no more, that, um, that, um, uh, we don't know what's gonna happen now with that, um, to continue, but, um, I think how she died was, um, I think she died, you know, how, you know, she wanted to defend the front of the line, um, I thought she was gonna go with a white, but I never thought in, you know, that she would die with a giant, and, um, but she also said in season seven, she said, don't expect me to knitting by the fire, I'm gonna fight, and yes, she did not fight a White Walker, and she, um, and yes, that giant did pick her up and crush the bones. Um, I think how she died was, um, very poorly written to me, because, um, if I'm gonna fight, especially that little, I'm gonna fight someone who actually, who is on a level, a play field, you know, but she did took out that giant. So to me, I think she went out a G on that part. Um, 
next Lord Beric. Um, Lord Beric um, did what he was supposed to do at this point. Yes, he um, kicked a lot of butt during the war and took a lot of whites out. But his mission was to defend and help out Arya at that time in need. Because Melisandre said he came, um, he came on that moment that he was supposed to perish. You came what you were supposed to do. Um, the Lord of Light brought you back for this specific reason. And... And, um, and that's what he did. So, go ahead, Barak. Um, three, um, um, I think the next one is, um, the next one is Theon. Um, Theon to me, Theon should have never freaking died in this episode. He should have died on the next episode or that war that he, you know, I want him. I really wanted him to go against his, um, his uncle because I felt like he deserved that, you know. Um, Theon, I have mixed emotion with Theon because, um, Theon, um, went down a bumpy road you know, he killed those two boys. Um, I don't know what season was that was, but he killed two boys. And then he was a, um, then he was someone's, um, capture by Ramsey and made him his bitch. And, um, you know, took his dick away and because he couldn't control his penis. Um, um, but I felt, you know, he was, um, like how he died when the Night King put that thing in his, um, side. Um, I felt, um, it was, it should have not went down like that way. And, because, mm -hmm, yes, I did not like Theon, but um, Theon, to me, it was a hate and relationship. You know, we, you know, we liked him at one moment, and then we didn't like him at that moment, and then we liked him all, all over again. Um, and... I wanted him to survive to go against his uncle because I felt, you know, he um, deserved that. Um, and he was getting his mojo back. Um, but um, I felt, you know, with um, I don't um. But I felt, you know, he he was just, you know, he was, you know, getting his stuff together. And I really like, you know, you know, even though something something that Theon was doing, it was especially in past season, you'd be like, are you for real? I was like, no. And, um, I don't, I don't think. I should have gone yeah I think he should have went you know if he was gonna fight someone else that was actually fightable you know what I'm saying that's how I feel um but that's how I felt um the last one and then well the second to the last I'm gonna talk about Jorah I love Jorah. I was so sad when Jorah died in the end because I thought um, he would actually see um, Khaleesi to be 
to to go to be on the Iron Throne. Now I'm not not that sure if she's gonna actually gonna be on the Iron Throne because he doesn't because she doesn't have um um Jor there um you know beside her and plus um Tyrion for some reason he he's doing that funny stuff and um he doesn't know what um his loyalty lies. And it wouldn't be surprised to me if he goes and back up Cersei and Jamie stays with um um stays with um Khaleesi. And um it wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Um um because, you know, um Tyrion has been doing some messed up things. Um, not doing the job right. And, um, so I don't know what's gonna happen. What, you know, because I only have only three episodes left. And, but, Joram, um, was a, and it was pissing me off because I was watching other reactions through the, um, on YouTube, and everybody was not saying, oh, no major characters died, and that really freaking pissed me off, because to me, if you started in the season one, and you die now, that is a major character, because usually all the major characters die less than two seasons or one season, they didn't even survive to that, so the people out there who say, oh, Jor was not a mother freaking major character. You're dead wrong because Jor was a major character to my eyes because he survived this very long. And it's freaking pissing me off when people don't like Jora and giving his props and giving his you know his due. Like this man, you know, yes, he did um messed up and um uh, told some stuff secret of stuff to Robert Baratheon, but he redeemed himself. He was trying to go back into Khaleesi's and he, um, good graces again. So to me, I love Jorah. I'm gonna find me a t-shirt of Jorah, and I'm gonna rock Jorah out, um, all the way. And I love Jorah. So, um, I'm saddened that how, you know, you know, how he died, and I'm saddened by it. Um, next is Melisandre. You know, she was, um, she, um, killed a whole bunch of people. Um, to me, I feel, you know, if I had to pick Melisandre and Theon, I picked Theon. Theon killed two of the boys. Um, um, Melisandre killed a whole bunch of people that was on a stake, still alive, screaming half to death. And to me, um, that um, that took major points off in my book, and um, and very wrong what she did. Um, and I feel like, you know, she served a purpose. She helped the Great War. Um, and that's how she went out. And I cannot find a better way to. And she died in her own terms. And um, not by anybody else. And um, Sir, and Sir Davos, um, you know, got his... Um, he was like, okay, I'm not able to kill her. You able to kill yourself like that? I think he was okay. Now, overall, with the um, the episode, I think the whole Thraki should have not went out like that. For one, the Thraki should have stayed. Actually, I think that the Thraki should have not even went to Winterfell in the first place. I think the Thraki. Um, should have stayed, um, where that island, where she was staying is, and then, um, 
and then the Aunt Sully should have just went with her. And because the Athraki and Aunt Sully don't know how to how to handle that weather for one thing. And yes, um, um, the Athraki, they are savage. They know how to fight a battle. The um the Unsully, they know how to fight a battle, but they don't know how to be savages. And I felt, you know, that episode in the beginning was um, really lame. And I don't know who decided to do that first, to do that Hathraki first, um, that battle strategy. But that ba whole battle strategy was just wrong as hell. And I felt it should have been a different um, battle strategy in the first place. And I hope Jon Snow, a.k.a. Aegon, did not decide, oh, this is the game plan. Because that was the wrong game plan in the first place. To do that stuff first. And and they also say that Othraki, that is the last Othraki. There is still more Othraki out there. Because remember season one... When those people did not go behind Khaleesi and stand by Khaleesi, they went away. So they are still Hothraki who did not side with Khaleesi. They are still alive. Um, um, let me see what else. Um, um, Sam. Sam to me, I don't know why the hell you was in that battlefield. You did not do what you were supposed to do. Yes, you killed the first white. But that don't mean that you need to act foolish and not pick up something um, because Ed died because of you saving your life. I'll be back. So that's how I feel about Ed and, and Sam. Sam should have stayed his butt down in the crib. And... He took an L from me. Let me see who else. Um, I know it's a lot of people. And Hound. The Hound really pissed me off. That Hound. Hound. L. Took an L. Yes, I know you're afraid of that fire, but sometimes you can clunk a death for you and kick some butt. Over that white walker. Yes, indeed. And I know a lot of people took it. Ew. Now, we only know those people that who died. But we need to see who else died in the next episode. Because we might miss some people that we did not know who perished. Who actually perished. So, that's my review. See you soon. Subscribe, thumbs just like um video, and hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye bye.